Hello everyone, Blake here from Blue Dog Prospecting, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm here with Mickey Bailey, Jamie, Richard, and Co. We've got Mickey's little Nundle tag along event going on. The boys are up there metal detecting, digging targets. Everyone's sort of spread out around the joint, a few down at the river. Anyway, we're just digging in some old alluvial benches here. This is where me and Jamie have just dug. Move these big boulders over there. And we're going to go run these two buckets. So, I'll get back to you guys soon if we get some shiny Ella. How are we going over here? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. I got one speck. Some good looking bedrock here though. It's all running on the right angle. Beautiful little area. Everyone's sitting there panning. Show me. You've got an appendage. Oh, I can feel it. It's sucking. Ah, 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 it's, it's hurting. It's sucking your blood. Oh, it's actually really hurting. Okay, pull him off. Turn him over. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a double-ended bleach, that one. It's hurting. We'll leave it on there then. Yeah. Well, I don't want him to pop. I just want him to let go. <laughs> Nikki's leech removals. Yeah, He's not happy. <laughs> there, there he's gone. Oh, I don't know how to leech remove. Have no. It looks like it's got red on it. It's not yeah. moving. Oxidization. Could be bleached out from the eyes. Uh, so. No, can't see it. What have we got here? Yeah, wash washing back a bit for you. Gold. Yeah. That's in that top layer. There we go. I think that's just where I started getting under that blue rock. Righto, rounding up the troops to get out of here. Got about 20 specks all up. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Jamie's still a bit shy behind the camera. Anyway, let's look around the area. And there's the old alluvials digging into. Uh, this is where we were digging yesterday. Finishing someone else's hole. Got some nice little flakes just out of that one. So we're making our way down here to see Adrian and Dennis and Donna. Because everyone else is heading off to get dinosaur poo. Let's go see what these guys are finding here, eh? We've got Adrian here. We've got Dennis from Gold Den. And Donna from Gold Don. <laughs> We getting here, old fella. Some nice flakes. Oh, is that one pan? Yeah. You're shit. Really? One pan sucking out of one of Right below you. You joking? I've had two pans. And I got that out of what? Three buckets. Very nice. That's the second pan. That's got it. I'm down further now. But the other pan probably had half of that. Yeah, right. Pull all this rock out and get them down there. I'm trying to get out on that bedrock. Then I'm going to work my way across over into underneath that, tree, that grass roots now. Fair enough. Nice work, mate. Magic. And how are you going over here, Adrian? Oh, a little bit. It's all adding up. 
Oh no, it's all in there. Oh, he sucked it up already. I've already sucked it up already. He's like, bugger that, blue dog's coming on you. I haven't got a honey hole like that one. But I'm thinking over here and amongst them rocks there might be alright. That's the go. Yeah, well, got a little bit. Well, Donna's got some. There's a few people sniping down there. Yeah, that's Richard and um, Robert. They're down there. Sniping in the river. Uh, where's Paul? He's further down, I think, or has he gone back up? Paul might have gone back up, yeah. Because he went that way, yeah. him and um, Dale. So they've dumped us up there, yeah. and they've gone down yeah. to the good spot. <laughs> good on you, Paul. <laughs> It might be a better well, spot down Paul, there. <laughs> Paul said to us, he said, come down here and pull the grass off the bedroom. Yeah, right. So that's what we've been doing. <laughs> Fair enough. Beautiful little spot here. I better go up and tell Jamie what I'm up to. I'm going to have some lunch. I might come down here and join you. Seven pans never moved, he reckons. You come with that already in your snuffer bottle, didn't you, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have that much at home. <laughs> to bring in the snuffer bottle. That's a good day, mate. You just get in here. Nicky's convoy. Heading out to look for cop lights or dinosaur poo. Paul's in the lead vehicle. I'm staying here to make lunch. Right, Ace, so this is going to be a bit hard for you guys to notice, but there's a lot of green weed coming down in the river here. And you see the weed comes out and around. You can see it there in the water. Now the reason I'm showing you this weed, as you can see here, it's coming down like that. Over here, it's going back like that. Now the reason being is because it's following the water current. So I get a lot of people say to me, I can't read the river as good as you. And I can't... Um, really picture what the water's doing and high and low pressures well there's a good way to tell you can see here when my finger is at the top that weed's coming out like that and it's swirling in behind that rock there's a low pressure it's coming down past here and it's pulling into that crack there's a low pressure it's coming down past here and just there it's kicking back this way now that's a change in direction of the water because of the face rock here. And you see down here, it's running with the stream. And right here, it actually sucks up and down that rock. There's a low pressure. You see the water boiling around here. Now here, you see it pulling back to your left and following around like this. You can actually see a whirlpool in here and still water with the bubbles not moving on the top another low pressure so if you guys don't know how to read the creek very well if you see any kind of weed in the creek that you're about to work pay attention to what it's doing where it's moving and it could seriously tell you what the water underneath is doing so like again it just comes in like this out like this down here and then kicks back that way and that's the flow of the water taking that weed around so once again if you don't really know how to read a creek properly there's one of your best indicators well we're down here at the beautiful river and uh, Jamie's just sitting down there doing a few pans and I just did two little pans here, got two little specks, did one there, got one little speck, did one there, got a nice bit bigger speck. And now I'm just cleaning out this bit of bedrock up here. And I'm just scraping out all these crevices down into the bottom. 
That's some of the dirt we got. Anyway, we'll uh, get the crazy, crazy crevasses in there. Trying to get as much of that material out as we can get. She's pretty warm up here in Nundle today. It's about 28 degrees. We were supposed to go home today, but we decided to go and get the young bloke and bring him out. Let him have a scratch around. So you can just see that nice crevice in there as well. Anyway, I'll keep cleaning this up. I'll show you what we get. Right, oh, so I wasn't sure what we'd get out of this up here, but it seems to be getting richer as I'm moving up the bank. So, that's what we got in that pan. A couple of nice little flakes. Yeah, that's pretty damn good, I reckon. So I might finish cleaning out that crevice there. See how we go. Right, eh? so we just uh, pulled them couple of rocks out. I'm just gonna clean this up. Hopefully, some more nice flakes like that. So I did another wash back after I was filming before, and I did find another big flake in the pan that I'd uh, missed on the first wash back. So that's a good sign. Anyway, this bedrock's just breaking apart here, so keep scraping it all out. Scrape all them crevices right out as much as we can. And we should get a good child colour out of this, hopefully. You can see the mud that's just coming out of there. Anyway, I'll put this down and I'll clean all that up. Scoop it in the pan. We'll see what we get. Sorry about my puffing and panting here. I'm bit unfit at the moment. Haven't been out for a long time so anyway we'll see what we get out of that. I'll go and wash these off first and then we'll clean the rest of that out. Well moved away from there because that crevice was cleaned out. Got one more speck out of it I want to put it on camera. See some more bedrock over here might have another go at that. Next time Beautiful little area. It's the Peel River. So we just uh, found this bit of bedrock running through here. We're on a little side flood channel with the river. I'm just cleaning out behind here. We just found some nice pieces of quartz that I might take and crush up. This bit here, it's got a heap of gems all on it. Nice clear quartz crystals. So I'll take that one home, stick them in the pocket. Anyway, we'll pan this one out just here. Let's see if we get anything. It's a bit hit and miss in the old Peel River from what I've seen over my time here. But anyway.
It's really hard with one hand. I got it. I'll do that again. Did see some gold there, but I washed it down. Okay. About five or six specks in there. And just see a few little specks in there. I don't know if the camera will pick them up, but there's two there, one down here. Yeah. Anyway, do one more pan here and then we might move on and go try somewhere different. Alright, so that's our specs for the last pan we just did. Not too bad, but not enough. So, I'm going to pack up, go get Jamie down there, and uh, head to a different spot. Now, these bloody things, this is what they invented Velcro off, these burrs. So anyone, every time you put Velcro on, you know, if you got some on your pants or your tent or whatever, these little burrs are what they invented Velcro on, and here's why, look. They just hook in there like that. I call them a Velcro bear. Anyway, it's even hooked on my finger. Anyway, moving on. So we're up at the uh, Hanging Rock Cemetery here. See some graves up there. These are the markings of the headstones that aren't here anymore. And there's Nikki's group. All the cars. Uh, and there's my beautiful girl. So we're going to head over here soon and we'll go and check out the pub site. So we're up here at the uh, Gibbons Inn site at Hanging Rock. And this is where Ashton Circus used to perform. Got the crew going to go get some metal detectors out and uh, try their luck for some coins. So we're up here at the side of the old um, circus. Everyone's sort of spread out doing a bit of metal detecting. Sorry about me shaky hands. And uh, Jamie's right down through here. And she's bringing court species back. It's a bit of a valley there. Probably worth going there. There's Shadow eating some grass. Anyway, we'll pick up the detector. The SDC was too loud with all the iron targets, so we got the gold bug out. And uh, see what we can find. So we're still here with Nikki's group. There's Nikki, and we're making our way up to the mine where them cars are parked. There's the rest of the convoy up there, parked on the hill. <laughs> yeah, that'd be disastrous, wouldn't it? So we'll get back to you when we get up here. Your toes, that's so all. We're up at the old boiler. We got the stamper down here. <coughs> Doing some sampling by the looks of things. Hell yeah. And you can see how much of the mountain here they've chewed out. And the old mercury sluice run down through here. But we'll make our way up and show everyone the mine. So in we go into the old mine. Someone's been doing a fair bit of work down in there. That's water. Oh Mum, do you have your phone? Mum, do you have a torch? Can I use your phone, Mum? No. I need a torch. 
Someone's been digging. So we're just looking at the court scene. There's a few crickets there. And we're going to get some hard rock bottom. Can you hear it vibrating? Take a photo, Jamie. Okay. Is this the other way in? No. Unsafe down there? I can't see anything, but it's probably a lot of it's probably little micro specks. I hope that's not breaking on my hand from the blade. Pickaxe. Definitely trying to catch him. Uh, yeah, I'll try and. I can't do this face ways. <laughs> yeah. I'll come and hold the torch for you. This section also try. It'd be easy with a jackhammer, wouldn't it? <coughs> jackhammer and a, a tarp? So, we're on our way back to the car. We got some quartz off the seam in the wall in there. And we'll go dolly that pot that up later and see what we get. Beautiful little creek here. The old rock walls down there, the Chinese workers and that we're putting up. There's Marina down there, chasing some gold. Yeah, it's been not a bad day at all. Not much gold, but not a bad day. If you liked what you've seen here today, give us a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, little ding a bell, and uh, don't forget to join that Patreon page.